Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls and this is our daily inspiration card reading. If you would like a personal reading with me, do not wait. Go to angelsouls444.com. Check the description box for all upcoming lives. Don't miss those. We have so much fun with them and this is like, um, you know, there's they're spiritual talks and educational videos and things like that. So, you know, I think they're worthwhile. <laughs> But I'm the one doing them, so take it for what it's worth. Anyway, so <laughs> let's get the card for today. Chantal. Okay, so we have new romance is imminent unless you're desperate for love. Then this doesn't apply to you. New romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through reignited passion in your existing relationship. Be open to giving and receiving love. So I just finished filming last week's dailies. And there was this whole thing about relationships and people harmonizing and understanding each other on a deeper level sharing our experiences with one another instead of shutting people out uh well some people got to get shut out I mean I'm not going to fault you for that but <laughs> you know people who are open and loving and caring who want to hear your story um being able to share that openly and freely now this card came it comes from an old deck now I've already explained myself about this before but um people who are desperate and needy for love you're only going to attract in what you're giving out. So you're going to get somebody, if you're um, needy for love, maybe, I don't know, you're going to have to examine the reason behind that. But you're going to attract in somebody who needs to feel like a hero. Or uh, if you feel like you're out of control without having someone grounding you, right? I hear that all the time. Uh, then someone's going to come in because they need to feel like they're in charge of someone. Okay, yeah. Our whole society doesn't get that. <laughs> no, they're looking at people who choose to stay single or who are in healthy relationships or got into relationships at an older age. Or, you know, maybe you're younger, but you're in a very healthy dynamic because you give each other space. And, you know, there's no wondering where the other person is and what they're up to and all this stuff. There's trust. There's love, like deep love, divine love between them. Um, and then we have this other thing that goes on, right? So the other one isn't seen as love. And we've been trained to think that instant attraction is love. It's soulmate. It's love at first sight. That is, um, that's false. That's false. Um, we've also been taught that um, if it feels, uh, how do I want to say this? Exciting? Because I don't, I don't want to say that because then it sounds like the other partners are not excited to be in that relationship and that's not the case but if it doesn't feel dramatic if it doesn't feel like you know desperate not desperate um like a fairy tale okay if it doesn't feel like that um then it's not real if it doesn't feel I don't even want to use the word passionate because then that means you know people who are in healthy relationships can be excited about each other and passionate but they don't have to be in this like lust right that's the best word I can use, think to use. Um, so if you're in that space, you're not going to have real love. Why? You haven't figured out what real love is. So how can you figure it out? Uh, be on your own. Some of you can't do that. I know lots of people in my life who go from relationship to relationship to relationship. To relationship. For what? Ugh. Uh, that just sounds, I mean, this is just me over here, but that sounds like a nightmare. <laughs> Are you kidding me? You have to shave all the time? Like, what? No. Be single, honey. You can be hairy. You can, you know, <laughs> you don't have to do anything. You can wear granny panties if you want. And, and you can, you know, get the comfy bras. You don't have to, like, um, <laughs> do you see what I'm saying? Anyway, I went off on a tangent. That was a bad tangent. Anyway, um, love is there <laughs> for people who are ready for it. Um, but if you're somebody who is still in that um needy desperate mode you're probably either going to attract and somebody's going to bring you a lot of lessons or you're going to have to go through that dis discomfort I was going to try to say uncomfortable and disc that uncomfortable time of learning to be alone and learning to have love for yourself when we say that people go mm, that's not exciting if, if you don't know how to be grounded on your own when you make statements like I need my husband to feel grounded Uh, what? I don't, okay, I, I don't even know what to say about that. Um, 
Or I need this person in order to feel loved. Same thing. Same face. Go back a few seconds. That was same face. Uh, that's no longer good enough. It's called codependency. You kidding me? I mean, God bless you if you are codependent with your partner. Who am I? Um, but well, let's work on that. Okay, great. Awesome. It's been real. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>